Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today is going to be new tool day, um, but not a tool we're going to buy, a tool we're going to make. So, working on the hot rod. Um, as you can see, there are a whole boatload of um, holes in the uh, firewall. Most of those I don't need, and the ones I might need are probably in the wrong spot. So, pretty much all of those need to be plugged up. Um, one of the tools that's really useful for that is a welding spoon, uh, which is basically just a piece of copper on a handle that you put behind it, behind the hole, then you can weld up to the hole, uh, fill it on in, and then it doesn't stick to the copper. So um, I've got some copper and I've got some metal, so let's see if we can make one. So I've got this scrap piece of copper. It's actually a uh, engraving plate. Um, it was uh, there's you can see there's somewhat of a design on there. Um, my wife's a printmaker and she used that as one of her to make prints, uh, but doesn't need it anymore, so it becomes scrap for the garage. Um, so we got that. Um, we're gonna basically cut it into kind of cut a smaller piece, probably about yay big and then uh, make a handle for it. And hanging up in the rafters is some good round stock. Um, that should be plenty good for making a handle. So let's get that down and cut a chunk off. We'll deal with that later. All right, now that optional shinying has been done, uh, we're going to cut a slot in it and further refine the shape. So now we've got to cut a slot for the copper to sit into. So I'm going to basically hold this like this and try as best I can to cut a straight slot through the dead middle of this. Very hot. Now, hopefully, ah, we're gonna have to widen it a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna probably just take a couple of the passes to make that a little bit wider. It is hot. I might want to uh, quench this at some point. bigger. And the copper slips in. Perfect. So now uh, we're going to take this to the bench grinder and kind of refine the shape a little bit. So smooth out those ends and then smooth out this back.
take it back to the lathe like you saw before to uh, sand up both of these ends. And then uh, we'll start, uh, I'll drill some holes and we'll mount the copper. All right, we're back. <coughs> um, smooth it all out. And because I wanted some grippy bits, I turn, I um, cut some grooves in the lathe, but it's a wood lathe and I'm using hand chisels. They're carbide tipped, so they cut, but they're pretty chowdery. Anywho, um, now I'm going to take a couple licks with a file to make a nice flat spot. And this is going to be where, um, where we're going to start drilling. Alright, that's a nice little flat spot on there. Uh, now, I'm going to grab a center punch. I'm going to put two screws in it. I'm going to go one towards the back, one towards the front. Okay, now let's go put it in the drill press and drill out those holes. Um, I can't find my other taps, but uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do this metric. So I know I've got a metric set. So this is the appropriate drill bit for this tap. It's going to be tapped to an M4. Um, so yeah, let's chuck it up and keep going. just a little bit bigger and get just the top side. Alright, so now what we're going to do is go through that and tap it. Normal rules apply, turn it in a little, then turn back. And we are through. So now I'm going to back out and then do the other one. I was getting nervous I was going to break the tap. It was flexing a lot. So that is the hard part done. Now, I'm going to deburr that with the nice little twisty deburring chamfery looking guy. On both the top side and the back side. Nice. Alright. So that is the handle pretty much done. 
Um, now all we've got to do is make the little bit of copper. And that piece is going to be kind of reusable or uh, consumable so we can uh, basically make new ones as we need to. Um, so yeah, let's cut that out and then uh, we'll find some screws and put it all together. Alrighty then. So, got our copper, we've got this guy. We're going to make it our bit about yay big and probably about yay long. So, going to take a square, line that. cut that out in the bench shear. One rectangle of copper and we'll slot it into there like so. Um, I might round off those corners just to keep them from getting too sharp but uh, that's kind of the gist of it. So now we're going to basically I'm going to run put a center punch through both of those drill that out and then put some screws in it. Mm. Alright, you can see those two guys and I'm gonna just do that on a block of wood. And much like the rest of it, we'll just deburr those. All right. All right, one more thing I forgot. Um, I want to put a bend in this. That way I can... Um, basically hold it against flat and not have the handle be in the way. So we're going to clamp it in the vise and I got these guys. If you have a bending brake use it. I don't so meh. that should do that. So now and slip it in to that Got those to line up and we'll put the screws in. So I can't find any of my good Allen screws so I did get these, I did have these uh, Phillips head M4s. They will have to suffice for now. Um, I'll probably put some nice little Allens in there at some point. But uh, in the meantime we will put that together. And then the two of those guys will hold that nice and securely. And there we go. So that is my homemade welding spoon. So let's uh, stick it on the truck and see if it works. Okay, well, small issue with the truck is that I don't actually have a good way of getting behind it, um, at least by myself. I need someone else to hold the, uh, the spoon while I weld. 
So that doesn't really lend itself to demonstrations. So in the interest of showing you how this works and seeing if this works for myself, um, I've drilled a 3 8 hole in this piece of angle iron. It's a little bit heavier. Well, it's a lot a bit heavier than what I'll be actually uh, welding with the uh, on the body or on the truck. But um, I figure it's at least a good shot to show you what's going on. Basically, I'm going to stick that back there, like so, and lay down a bead. And there we go. We've got a bead. It's plugged in there nice and full. And let's see what the back side looks like. Look at that. Beautiful. So that didn't even stick. It's a little bit proud because there was a burr and so I couldn't lay the spoon quite down as well as I'd like. But um, I think that's pretty good. Uh, it's not really rocket science, it is literally just a piece of copper on a handle, but um, I think it looks pretty nice, so I'm going to use it. Anywho, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.